right hi everyone welcome back to another tutorial of salesforce makes sense this is Imanshu and we are in our lightning web components masterclass in the previous tutorial we talked about understanding css and svg a bit more and in this tutorial we'll talk about variables right so very similar to what we discussed on the javascript side on the variables very similar but this is more lwc specific so let's jump into it right so what are variables variables are nothing but what you define here and that you need to use across your script for accessing and using different kind of properties as simple as that right now this right here name equal to Vinod is a variable what is a variable the name is a variable and it is assigned a string value right now I don't want to go into the basics again but there are two things that we need to understand one that a variable can be private or it can be public what do you mean by a private variable similar to how we have it in apex you can create a variable here right and this becomes a private variable when I say private it is available in this particular LWC component only right let's do something let's create a new uh, lightning web component variable understanding all right and let's create this component let's go ahead and remove these HTML and here what I want to do is I want to declare a variable how do I declare a variable I'm going to say member name is equal to Subhashini all right and this becomes a variable now this is a private variable when I say private this variable is available locally and when I say locally it means it is available in the variable understanding LWC component how can I access it here by creating a curly brace and just using the name like this member name so this will automatically evaluate to whatever is in the JS file as the value which is Subhashini okay that is what is a private variable let's go ahead and deploy this first of all let's go to our page and let's try to drop this component now when we drop a component we know that we have to go to the meta file and expose it and when we expose it we also need to say that you know the target config should be the home page on or else it will not show up correct so I just copy it from a previous component I built always easy to do that let's come here paste it I don't want it for a record page I don't want it for an app page only for the home page let's go ahead and deploy all right now let's go back refresh our page and I should start seeing my LWC component on the left panel what is the name variable understanding this one right here I'm going to just drag and drop it maybe here all right let's get rid of the previous one and you see Subhashini is already showing up so it is able to evaluate it all right so that's how your variables work and this is a local variable more like a private variable right my list of books is a private variable okay my personality is a private variable now you might ask Himanshu how do I create a public variable now what is the use of public variable before even creating it what is the use the use comes in when you have to interact between two different components all right so let's say you need to access a property that is in the variable understanding LWC component from a different component that is bundle showcase right now how do you access a property which is very which is defined here right and that's where public properties or public variables come into picture right now how do you you might ask Himanshu how do I distinguish like which one is a private and which one is a public variable there is a simple keyword for it which is called at the rate API okay at the rate API my favorite IPL team my favorite team this becomes a public variable whenever you define something with at the rate API it becomes a public variable when I say public it means it is accessible outside the LWC component by any other LWC component present in the space right but if you notice it is giving you an error now it is giving a highlight red color error I'm going to still go ahead and deploy it so that we see the error on the terminal as well right so it is not deploying and it is saying that unexpected plugin compilation error supported decorators invalid API decorator see you decorated your variable with a 
prefix and that is at the rate API. So what is it trying to say? Anything that you use from the modules has to be imported first. See how we imported the lightning element. Similarly, you need to import the API module also. So it also is in the LWC library. You simply go ahead and put a comma and put API there. And as soon as you do that, you see that the error is gone. Now, if I go ahead and say deploy, this deploys fine, which means API decorators have to be imported before being used. You will not be able to proceed because the system is going to throw a compilation error. Okay. Now what you have successfully done is you have created a, you have created a public variable that is accessible outside your LWC component. Okay. And you can use it any in any other component you can use it here as well so if i go to my sorry not here in my variable understanding so my uh, membership is taken by and my favorite team is i put a curly brace here i use the same variable name as is and i put it here deploy right i can use it in my local space also but i will be able to use it in my outside uh, what do you call it in other components also okay let's first of all see if it is working fine or not and before even doing that okay let's try to deploy it first let's see taking some time don't know why let's get rid of this welcome banner and let's reduce the size of this so that you can see more of the code so this is an array this is a object this is a string this is also a string these three are private variables this is a public variable how do you tell that by seeing that oh okay there is a api decorator added to the variable meaning someone outside this lwc component is also able to access it okay don't know why is it taking so long let's refresh let's de deploy again i think it is deployed fine refresh yeah so membership is taken my favorite and all of this is coming up here but it's not looking you know fancy I, let me just add some css all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get this thing inside a div container and i'm going to oh sorry not div it should be div right and i'm going to give it a class so that it comes with a background and stuff yeah so let's paste this div here i'll align it so that my code is aligned see indexation is always helpful to read better SLDS card okay I'll just use this particular SLDS library for CSS let's see how it acts now refresh better so I'm able to read it at least right the card is very small but I'm able to read it so my membership is taken by Subhashini this is a private variable my favorite team is Kolkata Knight Riders which is a public variable so you can just comment and tell me what is your favorite team provided you are seeing or watching IPL okay great or just tell me your favorite cricketer cool but you see Subhashini is a private variable and this IPL name or the team name is a public variable so you might ask him Himanshu you are saying that it is public but can you prove it so I'm going to go ahead and prove it to you all right now let's assume that we have another component and I'm going to say let me call it a different component okay don't mind the name for now this is only for your understanding but always write meaningful names all right and now let's assume that the different component is the component that is going to be exposed and this is the component that is going to be shown to the end user so i'm putting the lightning home page uh, uh, target config here i have exposed it also first of all let's try to deploy it empty slate i'll just deploy it deployed let's go to the page let's click on edit page i should start seeing my component here all right i'll just say different i'm seeing the component i'm just going to drop it here okay i'm going to get rid of my variable understanding component okay i'll just keep this different component as the component let's go back let's go to my different component html and i'm going to just put a let, let's not put a div what i want to do is i want to actually use my component the child component right now this is called variable understanding right if i were to use it here it's a it's it's a bit uh, premature information i'm giving you but that's okay so how do you do this you basically say c hyphen variable understanding all right this is how you actually 
call your child component let me just go ahead and say deploy okay let me show it to you first and then i'll explain it to you okay refresh yeah so now if you see my child component is actually put in a parent component more like a this is another component component one this is another component component two component two is inside component one and it is able to render everything that is inside variable understanding now if you notice what did i do what did i do i basically used a nomenclature or more like a template right the name of my lwc component is variable understanding v small u capital right and here you have to use the c namespace which is the component namespace you have to segregate it by hyphens so this is more like the kebab case okay hyphen hyphen where do you put the next hyphen wherever you see the next capital letter that's why variable understanding one of each is one word and it is able to give you the same result see same result correct now what do i want to do is because i told you that this is a private variable this is a public variable so what i want to do is i want to use my favorite team variable and i want to send this information from here okay and let me just say narendra or uh, not narendra this is my favorite team so i'm going to say let's say chennai super kings okay but if you see this is throwing an error again the variable name should also be in kebab case so what do you need to do you need to put a hyphen here you need to put a hyphen here you need to uh, change the capital to small and now you see the error has gone and you are able to pass a value to the my favorite team variable now let's go ahead and deploy this and let's see what happens refresh refresh again so you see my favorite team has just changed and it is now chennai super kings what does that mean that means that you have been able to pass value to a public variable from your parent component and that's how you do it and that's why the api decorator helps you to do it right you'll say himanshu then why would i try to if i try to pass member name let's go to different component and i can pass the member name here as well right so you will say let's put narendra here right another member uh, what i have to do is just put a hyphen here put the name De refresh save deploy okay i'm going to deploy this value with narendra and then this with chennai super kings right let's go back let's refresh my page let's refresh again let's refresh again let's refresh let's refresh it's subhashini why because this variable is private it is not going to accept anything from a different component why because it's not it's not decorated with the api decorator to be able to accept values from any other component however if i do this if i put a api value here and now i deploy it is going to override the value that i locally have and take the value from my parent component which is right here if i do this let's deploy this component again and let's deploy the variable understanding component again okay if i do this i go back refresh you'll see narendra is the value that's coming up here make sense so that is primarily the difference between api decorators and non api decorators which are more like private variables all right why do you use private variables for more like internal logic anything that we write in our current js we'll use it for that but why do you use public variables in case you need to pass information from one component to another component that's when you will use at the rate api make sense great so there are different variable types and i'm not going to go deeper into this because we covered a good deal of this in the javascript part when we did variables so you have primitive types what are primitive types it's basically boolean integer decimal all those are like you know the basic ones what do you call string etc okay those are the primitive ones what do you have next you have objects and arrays right so you can create an object by using the curly brace you can create an array by using a square bracket all right what is public and private we already understood and what you can also do is if you want to track certain variables for example the value of my personality has name is equal to vinod age is equal to 35 right this is the my personality object uh, object variable how do i use it i'll go in here and i'll say my personality dot age 
right and i'll say deploy i'll just say vinod's age is okay this is a random age okay i don't know what vinod's age is vinod probably you can just put a comment <laughs> all right great um so i've just put this information here let's go back and let's refresh vinod's age is 35 we know it's just 35 right where is this value coming from this is coming from the object property this is coming from my personality object dot property right this property right here but in case you want to ensure that whatever value changes in this particular variable should always and automatically be reflected here on the html okay what you need to do is you need to put a param a decorator called track what will this do this will tell the system that you know keep tracking my personality and anything if it changes render the new value in the html side for now just keep just understand this much again now you must already know what is the problem here you need to import it from the lwc module as soon as you do that it is going to keep tracking the variable and any changes that happen it will re-render the page so that you know you see the latest value because we know its age might change in one year it will be 36 so it will re-render it automatically okay you don't have to hard reload or refresh the page that is what reactivity means all right great now coming to the naming convention which confuses a lot of people right now if you see me typing things i am typing them very fast because i am used to it right but the thing is see notice and try to follow this thing every variable is sentence cased sorry not sentence cased camel cased correct it is all camel cased m is small but every other alphabet first letter is capital all right you have to do this in javascript if you go to html same variable can be used like this exactly the name of the variable with curly braces so far so good but if you go to html and you need to refer it as an attribute then the variable naming changes from camel case to kebab case so this was the variable variable name that you had in your javascript and if you have to leverage it directly as an attribute you just need to put a hyphen wherever you are seeing a capital letter and you need to replace all your capital letters with small letter and that is how your variable name will change into kebab case and it will be error free makes sense right so that is what i have written in lwc js variables and properties are camel cased in html attributes will be kebab cased now see understand the difference if you are directly accessing a variable you will still do it like this okay don't make a mistake of you know accessing the variable like this this will not work it will still work as the same name because you are accessing the variable directly but if you are accessing it as an attribute meaning you are trying to pass a value to it you have to use the kebab case format i hope that makes sense okay variables and properties are camel cased in html attributes will be kebab case so account name becomes account hyphen name user details becomes user hyphen details is button disabled becomes is hyphen button hyphen disabled and record id becomes record hyphen id this is in javascript this is in html cool so now that you know everything about variables and you know everything about uh, variable binding and all of this stuff if you have a javascript variable called trying this what would be the corresponding html attribute just comment your answer in this particular video all right this will tell me that yeah you understood the uh, you know naming convention exactly how i wanted you to understand so yeah 100 points to you if you are able to you know answer it correctly all right great that's all i wanted to talk in this particular tutorial i will see you in the next one bye